What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay, the bronze bomber, Wilder. Deontay Wilder says that he doesn't, or he's not worried about how many times Tyson Fury falls or how many times that he jerks off. That's not important to him. He says if Tyson Fury gets knocked down, because a lot of people are speculated, well, what if Tyson Fury gets up? Deontay Wilder simply re remained and responded, well, I'm going to knock him back down. So it's one of those situations where Deontay's really not worried about too many of those same things. He says that <clears throat> he must break Fury. He must keep knocking him down, giving the fans more excitement because it was exciting that Tyson Fury did get dropped, was down on the canvas, you know, did get up, did rally back. That's what made the fight really the fight. Because everything in between the ninth and the 12th was basically Fury throwing jabs, clowning, you know, sticking out his tongue, rolling around, you know, giving a two-piece here and there, throwing a double jab. Fury, Wilder, missing, frustrated, mad, making him look bad um, in certain spots, parts of that fight. Well, a lot of the, that fight, really. Um, and it's weird that uh, I wasn't going to do a video about uh, Fury jerking off, and I didn't. I mean, that just kind of, I think that's something you should keep to yourself. You know what I mean? Like, personally, doing this and that, I jerk off seven times a day. I mean, like... <clears throat> that's kind of uh, um, too much information, really. You know, you stick to boxing. Of course, boxers are normal human beings, and we know that it's cool to know what they do besides boxing, but not all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's something that you should never say. That's something that... Um, a smut magazine or somebody like that would say instead of someone that's openly willing to give that information and share that information with, it's like, okay, well, <laughs> what, uh, what's, the, what's the importance of that? Is it going to help him perform? You know, we heard the, the, uh, the rumor about having sex before a fight. Terrence Crawford himself said, yeah, I like to have sex before a fight because it relieves me. So it's one of those things, but, you know, masturbating it. <laughs> Come on, I mean, I don't really think that should be a big thing, you know, and I don't know why Tyson Fury said it, but of course, it's Tyson Fury. But Wilder was saying that because he's just making that um, known that the things that Tyson Fury says, it does not matter to him. Anything that he does doesn't affect Deontay Wilder in any shape, form, or fashion. That's what he's saying while he was being interviewed by via Fight Hub, shouts out to them, Fight Hub TV. Um, also, he said that the lineal uh, championship, none of that matters to him, that all dies. Um, he also said that <clears throat> the Ring Magazine, that doesn't matter anyway, I don't care about that either, okay? So, to me, to Deontay Wilder, the way he's speaking, it's like everything that he's doing he's just doing it for his own personal vendetta to set the record straight because like it's it's basically like Tyson Fury has nothing to offer him besides uh, getting beat or getting knocked out by him that's the only thing that he cares about which alone if that's the case if you're not a mandatory because you you haven't you haven't heard Deontay say he's never a mandatory you haven't heard he haven't okay this is the problem. We've heard Lineal. He doesn't care about that. We've heard Ring Magazine. He doesn't care about that. We heard about the rankings of Ring Magazine. He says they have a personal vendetta against him, uh, Deontay Wilder says. He didn't mention any of that. But he also did not mention mandatories. Tyson Fury is supposed to be his mandatory. No, Dominic Brazil was supposed to be the mandatory. No, Dillian White was supposed to be the mandatory. However, the only person that he acknowledged the mandatory was Dominic Brazil. You know, I think that he's missing the key cards. The key cards is, hey, sell the point 
of him being the mandatory. But Wilder, I don't think, cares about that. Why? Because he knows that the WBC made that shit up just to save face to keep him away from Dillian White. So the less he says about the WBC mandatory situation, the better off that he is. Okay? He's better off by not even mentioning anything about mandatory whatsoever. Why? Because he's already getting what he wanted, and WBC is allowing him to get what he wants. The WBC is allowing Deontay Wilder to duck Dillian White. I don't know why necessarily, because it's not a, it's not a fact that Dillian White would just run steamroll over Deontay Wilder. That could happen, but does that mean that will happen? Because, you know, Deontay's a fast, durable guy himself, so I don't think that that is the case. So why are they making up things for Fury? You know, so that leads me to believe, in other words, the only reason they said, hey, this is a mandatory and we're giving the mandatory spot to Tyson Fury after the fucking fight was already settled without the mandatory, which was retarded. The only reason they did that was to keep that was because they needed an excuse to give to Eddie Hearn team Matchroom and Dillian White and his team. Because according to Wilder, he's not even mentioning the fact that the mandatory has to has to fight. He has to fight the mandatory. He hasn't even mentioned any of that. So that's not even an importance. So the only reason he wants to fight him is just to fight him. Now, if we dig deeper into that, there are other things on the table that he should have been interested in, the other belts, which he was not interested in in 2019, any of that time, except the last ass half of it when it was with someone else. So that, that is another, uh, another thing that you, you need to mention. But back to this article, okay, that's more of a side note. Um, Deontay Wilder's not worried about any of the things that Tyson Fury does, and he wants to set the record straight, you know, and it shows that he does listen to what Tyson Fury says and the things that he says about himself and about uh, the fight at hand. So it is weird to say that, though. It's weird for Tyson Fury to mention that I thought that was really weird you know what I mean like uh, <laughs> it's almost like you run into him do you really want to shake that hand do you really <laughs> man did you wash your hands what, what what's that white stuff <laughs> but anyway um Deontay Wilder looks focused he looks not bothered at all by the things that Tyson Fury says the trash talk is minimized from 100 to 10 percent and that's really not good because we're supposed to get a lot more entertainment but I think they're minimizing it, and I think that may be a part of the game plan. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Deontay Wilder's responses to Tyson Fury. Please subscribe, and you guys can counterpunch. Peace.